What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my album PC recap TTM autograph number six. This is the sixth installment. We're probably going to be doing 30 or 35 videos just showing you guys all the cards that we got in 2021. I was blessed by getting, like I said, 15,000 or more autographs. Just, like I said, sending out 100 letters per week. Doing some awesome blind trades with you guys. You guys were amazing sending me stuff. And I was sending you guys stuff back. And like I said, you guys have really been helping my journey. I'm trying to get every card signed from 1952 to 1995. If you guys see any cards that people that signed that I don't have in here, please feel free to in the comments to let me know. To try to pick up some cards to send to those people. Or if you see some stuff I don't have that you have and you want to send in for a blind trade, man, feel free Please help me out. Like I said, we're really trying to get these completed. I am, I'm very addictive. I love putting these sets together. I mean, you know, a lot of people just do one set, but why do one when you can do them all? It's so much fun. This is my 75 and 76 set. It's pretty small, so uh, we don't have to fly through it as fast as we've done some of these other ones. But this is the 1975 set. 75 set is probably, it's either my number one or number two set. It might be my number two set. I think I like the 71s a little bit better. But I've always liked them. They're kind of like a just a basic design. And anywhere you see that there's one missing, like right there beside Jim Colburn, there's one missing. There was an autograph team card in there. There's a Gorman Thomas. My first baseball game was 1982 Milwaukee Stadium. And you got to see Gorman Thomas play and Rick Manning and Toby Hara and the Indians. It was it was a fun game. It was a doubleheader. Uh, there's Daryl Evans. Steve Swisher used to live about five minutes from me. But yeah, we, we pulled out all of the signed team cards and we're sending them to other players. Because we ended up seeing... There's a nice Steve Garvey. But we ended up seeing like people sending those team cards... And uh, people were having pretty good responses, you know, and, and getting five or six, seven guys on them. So we decided to do that and hope we don't lose them. But that's why that's why you see these empty spots, because I used to I used to have team cards in them, and now they don't. I just haven't moved them back yet. So hopefully we don't lose our team cards. Now there's some in here I did keep. And when we get to them, I'll let you know, and I'll tell you why, and I'm sure you'll know why on some of them. Why I went ahead and kept them. Jim Perry, I think he's a $5 fee. But yeah, there's nice Brooks Robinson. I'm telling you guys, if you haven't got into TTM or you haven't started collecting sets, you know, it's it's amazing feeling getting all this stuff in the mail. I mean... And when these sets really start taking hold, I mean, it's just really, really amazing. I mean, when, you know, because I started off with nothing. So, you know, at one time, this album just had one 1975 card in it. And there's Jay Johnson. He uh, He's deceased. Like I said, it started off with one card in here. And then it grew to two. Then it grew to nine. Then it grew to 12. And now it's up to, who knows, there's probably... Probably over a hundred and some 75 tops cards in here now. I mean, that's a far cry from 600 or however many there is in there, but it's still pretty nice and it's fun. I got some pretty good guys. There's Louis Tiant, Bill Lee, Cecil Cooper, Tim McCarver's a $10 fee, Bernie, Cobar, Co yeah. Bernie Carbo was a rookie of the year. See, here's one. Uh, I went ahead and kept this one just because it's signed by the manager, Jack McKeon. I haven't decided if I'm going to send that out yet or not. Doesn't look like I have any real big guys. Might be some prizes, some surprises later on. Yeah, 
have Doug DeSenza's rookie autograph. They need to send it to Mike Cubbage. But I haven't got anything back from him recently. I sent it to him a couple weeks ago. I haven't got it back. There's Jerry Turner. There's a nice uh, Jim Rice rookie autograph that's on a mini. Uh, this is signed by two. I, I thought of, if those weren't signed in ballpoint pen, I almost thought about sending that to Ryan, but I don't know. Because Ryan's probably going to sign it in a nice Sharpie. And I think Ryan's like $75. But it'd be cool to have that card filled. There's a Dick Grote autograph and Steve Garvey and... Which, who's this? this is, I think it's Al Rosen. That's a nice one. And a Bobby Shantz. So I have some nice ones there towards the back. This is a 1976 set. I kept this one just because Bill Verdon just passed away, and I haven't decided if I want to send out yet, send that out yet or not, because I wouldn't be able to get another one signed. Phil Garner, I always liked him. He was good. This might go under 15 minutes. I won't have to edit it. That'll be nice. Editing takes so much time. Nice Daryl Evans. Steve Swisher. Al Herboski. I always liked him. Charlie Huff. There's a Steve Garvey. Larry Bittner just passed away a couple months ago or last month. These 76 cards I never really liked when I was collecting, but they look pretty good signed. I'll give, I'll give them that. I've come to find out, like, any card looks good signed. I don't know why. I just love pretty much any card signed. They look so much better signed than unsigned. I think Bobby Gritch is like $20 or $30 through the mail. It's ridiculous. I paid $10 for Jim Palmer. I paid $10 for Brooks Robinson to sign. Grant Jackson passed away this summer. Ken Singleton, I think he's a $5 fee. Uh, Don Baylor's deceased. I got that from eBay, I believe. I guess if I can find something like a deceased player on eBay for a decent price, I'll pick it up. Because you know, I'll never be able to get them TTM, so we'll go ahead and buy some of those. And I just bought 79 cards on eBay yesterday. And I think 32 of them were deceased players. So I'll have some nice, cool stuff to show you here in a few days, hopefully. I always loved Richie Hebner and Richie Zisk. That's weird. I wonder why Toby Hara... See how his name is like black and all the rest of the names are yellow? Never noticed that. I think I got that Roy Smalley uh, on eBay too because I don't think he signs his mail. Fergie Jenkins, I got that uh, on eBay too, I believe. There's another Louis Tiant. Hey, I just got the Tom House today. Guess I don't need it for the set. Uh, Dennis Leonard's like five for ten. You send five, he'll he'll sign for ten bucks. Foster, I think I paid ten dollars for that. Foster's one of my favorite players. I had to have that done. Purple I eleven, I got that through the mail on a lot or individually or something. He's twenty dollars through the mail, I believe. I think I only paid like ten for that on eBay. Somebody said these Joe Coleman's are are ghost sign. Because I got that through the mail. And he's been too sick to sign for the past few years, I've heard. Claude Osteen. I was always a big Claude Osteen fan. I don't know why. Might be his name. I just thought his name was pretty cool. There's a nice Ed Ott. Rookie Otto. I finished that uh, Al Herboski Goose Gossage. I love that thing. That thing's awesome. There's a Ron Guidry rookie. Uh, I believe that Guidry rookie might have Pat Zachary on the back. Nope, I have a Pat Zachary one that's on the back. Dave McKay, another Joe Coleman. 
this is Bernie Carbo here. Larry Anderson. Frank LaCourt. All right, guys, that was a short one. Like I said, some of my albums don't have as many cards in them. Because, like I said, I, I was putting the 70s all in one album. And they just got way too big. It was kind of like the 50s and 60s I showed you guys. But I couldn't fit all the 70s because I have so many cards of some of these sets. So we can only fit two years in here. And the next album, you know, will probably be 70, what, 7, 78, and 79. So it'll be three in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, man. It means a lot to me when, when I get on there. And I see you guys have been liking and, and, and commenting on the videos. Like I said, it really, really makes me feel good. I love this community. You guys are freaking awesome. Have a good one, guys. Peace.